2 News begins right now with breaking news. That breaking news officials now identifying the person killed in Wednesday's Sand Springs tornado. He is 41 year old Arian Christopher Lakey. We will keep you updated as we find out more information. Meantime, the second day of recovery is underway in Sand Springs. The National Weather Service now rates Wednesday's deadly tornado as an EF2 with winds topping out at 135 miles an hour. Two works for you anchor Max Resnick is live at the River Oaks Mobile Home Park with more on the cleanup efforts. Max. Libby, you can hear it and you can see it. Crews working behind me right now, chainsaws in hand, cutting down some of these branches, trying to get this huge tree off of this mobile home. We've seen families and crews returning here this morning, but one common question we keep hearing is, where do you start? Well, we can tell you where they started this morning. We had cadaver dogs from the Eastern Oklahoma canine unit out here. That's protocol. They do not expect to find any additional fatalities out here. That's just part of the process. Uh, then we met uh, an Armory Reserve group coming out here to volunteer to help folks try to pick up their pieces and get their lives back together. And then we met Maurice Ward and his tomb took a little bit of damage here this morning. It's especially important for Maurice to get his home back together. He's got 19 great grandchildren, a 20th on the way. And when you serve 32 people for Thanksgiving, you definitely want to have a home to come to. We have to keep track of everything and try to uh, rebuild, and we uh, are familiar with that part, you know. So, wife and I had a lovely marriage, 53 years, you know, so we're still moving on. She's going to let me stay a while longer, you know. His barn suffered damage to his classic cars he's working on. He's got a lot of work to do, but as you can see, he is in good spirits today. Now, this is not the first disaster that he suffered in this home. Coming up tonight on 2 News Works for You at 5, we'll tell you what other disaster he made it through and why he's still here today. Live in Sand Springs, Max Resnick, 2 News Works for You. All right.